Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're taking a look at Android O Beta, and it's now available through the beta program, so you can go ahead and download it on your uh, Pixel devices, as well as also the Nexus 6P. And a couple of new features are in there. One of them, of course, is just ambient notification and how it looks now. You double tap on the screen, that should bring it up here. As you can see the icon, so I do have some notifications on my screen. And if you double tap again, now brings you up to your second notification tray. So you can see, and you can access those notifications if you want to. I'm just going to unlock my device. So here is Android O. It still looks very similar, nothing too drastic in change, but a couple of things you'll notice visually off Android O. So you can see the icons there, they're white at the bottom for the on-screen controls. And when you actually slide up the tray, they actually turn inverse color. So there's kind of that inverse uh, color profile. They still haven't actually uh, made this see-through so we can actually see our wallpapers, but uh, that's just pretty much what you get. Now, the next thing you notice is that you can see those little dots on you know, Facebook as well as my Hangouts. Those dots actually represent the fact that I have notifications pending on there. So you know, if I'm using my device at any point in time, I can look at that and see. The other thing too is that you can long press on your device, now on, on any um, application, and actually get access to it. So if I long press on Facebook, it now shows me, sorry, I long press on Facebook, it shows me the notification and app info right there and I can go ahead and actually close that out if I want to and be done. And then if I go ahead and long press on Hangouts, I can see the notification I have. I can either tap on that to go into it or I can go into App Info. Now you can long press on anything. So I can long press on uh, Maps and even go into Widgets and actually search for Widgets. Or if I want to long press, or say on Pinterest, I can go in there and then uninstall the application. So you can do it directly from um, long press access. So kind of like that, you know, right, uh, the, that second mouse key option you have on your device, which is pretty cool. So I see it shows me that I have some information here showing there's moderate traffic in my area. Uh, again, that's just what those icons do for you. Now, in terms of the app tray, pretty similar, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, also the notification uh, tray and also the, uh, the, the Quick shot icon area is a little different in terms of it's a little grayed out. The icons are small, the positions are changed between editing as well as going to your settings. So that's a little change there. Uh, and also you can still switch in uh, between uh, accounts. So be, be a guest, add a user, of course, Thunder as my account there. Going to our settings, our settings also feels a little bit more streamlined and different, but I just wanna quickly show you what we have here. So we have Android O as a system. Yeah, we can do a system check. If we go into about phone, we can see here the version is Android O right here. So uh, there's no um, Easter eggs or anything like that. There are a couple of options. There are a couple of things in here that don't work properly. Again, this is the second build. So uh, some things don't work. This picture in picture, which for some reason does not work on my device, but I can show you quick access to it. If I actually type in picture in picture, go in here, it shows you the devices that it works with and you can actually use picture in picture uh, with that. So let's go ahead and try YouTube and we might as well try Chrome. So we go into YouTube. The idea is to go into YouTube, play a video, and if I hit the home key, it should just minimize the video, but it didn't do that. So I guess it's just not working. We could try it in, in uh, Chrome just to see what that does for us. So I've seen other people's work. Mine doesn't work on my device. That's again, just something that happens. So this should be able to do picture in picture also, not so much. So we don't have that functionality at least, or it's just not working. Now, another functionality that's built in, but I still don't have it in mind, which is interesting is if you long press on your home, um, home screen and go to settings, I actually have an option that's missing that should say change icons and I can change the shape of the icons to be rounded or different shapes. I don't have that option in there. I know it's available for some reason, it's just not here uh, with this. So that is just something um, to take note. Let's go back into the settings and go into languages and just show you something there. And here we go, language. So with language, we've got autofill and the autofill basically help you autofill like passwords and things like that. You can use third party apps or you can actually use Google autofill and this will come from your Google accounts directly. So if you have a Google account, 
that you use, uh, that would take the autofill from there, from your Chrome browser, autofill history, and that's what it will use. So, uh, but you can also use uh, something else uh, eventually. You do have the gesture features here on the fingerprint sensor, camera flip, all that kind of stuff. So uh, those things are also built in. Not much, it's running a little buggy, um, so again, we'll have to see as more updates and builds come through with this. There's also update for the Sony codec to give you better Bluetooth audio. We'll have to check that out and see over time. That's not something I can quickly just jump in and take a look. I'm just getting notifications here, but you get the general idea of what this is. But anyway, guys, if you have any questions or any comments about Android O, um, and as we get more builds and more updates, I'll let you guys know what we have, what's new, what's fresh. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.